Hey guys, new video here about uh, Winter's Orb. It's a physical based uh, hybrid Winter's Orb. It's pretty nice. Winter's Orb got nerfed. But let me show you some gameplay here. That's a, beyond, that's a T16 um, uh, Beyond in map here. I'm just going to go in here. All right, I'm just going to... Um, and, and I'm delicious. Thanks for the Twitch Prime, dude. Thank you so much. Kiss Prime for you. Okay, let me just stack up. As you can see, I'm, I'm a trickster. So I'm just charging up my stacks. Yo, Hipster W, thanks for 7 trillion light years in a row. Thank you for that subs. Thank you so much. That, that guy's really enjoying the stream. All right, as you can see, I charge up my, my, my charges there. And now I'm just going to go ham. Look at this. It's, it's a little bit slow going. Uh, pop a little Righteous Fire. You know, uh, pop a little Righteous Fire here. And, uh, oh, oh my gosh, that's a Volatile. Big Chicken Foot Shrine. Look at this. Ring around the Rosie with the, the Volatiles. And let me Weapon Swap for a little bit of Rampage action. And I Weapon Swap back. And then when I Weapon Swap back, I recast my minion. This is also a minion build, by the way. Um, because I use Anime Jardian for some buffs and Lightning Jolm for a little bit of uh, extra uh, Winter's Orb shooty. So let me, let me just try to clean up this map real quick. As you can see, um, I'm using 12 stacks, right? I'm just running through. The, the stacks are running out, but but stuff's dying. Let me pop that, that RF a little bit here. Let me stack. Oh, let me, let me just hit this pylon. What does this do? What is this thing? Is this good? Yo, what does this pylon do? Is that good? Yo, I got a resist shrine there because I'm using the goal. Goal is pretty nice. Oh, what, what's, what's I can't see anything right now. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, okay, okay, wait. Let, me, let me clear this pylon a little bit here. I'm just gonna run around. I have no idea where I'm going, but I'm just, I'm just trying to clear some pylon action here. All right, look at that, look at that. I just, that's an early clear. Early proc with my, my, okay, I gotta pick up my Templar splinters here. All right, this is pretty insane. All right, hold on, hold on. Well, I'm trying to pick up my Master Sextant. Look at, look at these click skills, dude. Look at these clicking skills, all right? If you're not good at clicking, you can't play this game. Oh, Gloom Shrine. Okay, this, this build's about to look a lot better. But it's definitely not because of the Gloom Shrine. It's because I'm aiming every single projectile at once. I'm going to pick this up. Chow, look at that clicking. Look at that clicking skills right there. This is a guide. It's not really a guide. Just my thoughts on the build, right? And what I'm using and, and my overall thoughts on it. So I'm making the YouTube video right now. This is how, this is how I do my YouTube videos. Just, uh, just one takes, right? So I don't have to edit it later on. All right, so that's about the map. We got 10 monsters left. Um... Yeah, okay, I'll actually permafreeze the boss, like no joke, so that's why I'm not going to do the boss. Okay, so, um, it's a basic, uh, it's, it's a basic, yo, yo, stop, stop whispering in game, buddy, alright? It's a basic um, self-curse setup, so you already know from the previous, the, the shackles, the wretched, the combs, no explanation needed there. You got the temp chains, curse on hit um, with the Herald of Thunder. You got, you got a flame dash here, you can also use Frostblink because it looks cooler. Um, I'm using a little Impulsos for extra cleanup because you can't rely on the Winter Storm to have perfect omnidirectional targeting, so Impulsos helps a lot. Um, I'm using the Solstice to extend the buff, so I only need 45 um, curse effect for max temp chains, right? So you get, you get 11 from the, the gem, you get 4 from the Conk Potency, and then I have 30% from a Glorious Vanity here, right here, 1515. Um, the Trickster Ascendancy right here. Now, the reason I'm going Trickster is because this is very nice for a little uh, quick ramp up, right? Uh, also, it helps with when you're leveling. This is amazing. This is extra damage. And sometimes a lot of damage. I think sometimes it's bugged um, because, you know, grinding gear, right? Lots of bugs with these Ascendancies. So the um, the Harness of Void is just like, think about it as a, like, a more added damage, but sometimes it bugs out and gives you massive added damage. The uh, Ghost Dance. Okay, so this is questionable right here. You can actually take these two points and you can put them into here. One, two into the 20% uh, skill effect duration because at point two times the base duration will be multiplied by four when you do the self curse, right? Um, so you don't really need this. I might test out this into here, but this is cool for a little bit of defensives and you can even take this for even more defensives if you want, but I didn't feel that it was necessary. Um, this is also a questionable choice right here because these two, Patient Reaper is two thirds of a perfectly rolled Cinder Swallow Flask. Cinder Swallow Flask gives you 3% uh, life and ES regen. Patient Reaper gives you 2% max, okay? And that 70% doesn't actually apply to that instant recovery, okay? I don't think that actually works. So it's it's not as good as the Cinder Swallow. You don't get the free MTX from the Cinder Swallow. You don't get the 10% more uh, damage because you're playing Winter's Orb. You're usually going to have uh, some kind of fire damage um, to always uh, activate that 10% more damage taken from the monster. So that's what you lose, but it allows you to use a different flask. I'm going to talk about the flask in a little bit. Okay, so that's the Trickster. You can, you can do it on uh, Assassin as well. You can drop increased crit in the, the chest if you go Assassin, and uh, Assassin works as well. Saboteur would probably suck suck dick so don't don't go saboteur okay you can do this on a lot of a lot of other senses okay so let's talk more about the gear 
These two rings are questionable. You can use this if you can fix your resist or if you're not juicing. Um, let me show you. You can use a Mark of the Shaper. You can do cannot be poison so that you can switch your uh, Shakira into uh, a Beerith right here. This will make you faster and safer with juicing. Okay, much safer than uh, than this this Pantheon. This Pantheon though, if you don't have the corruption on your ring, then you have to take it. Okay, this is for the move speed and the defensives. You can get if you use Whale Grace, you will get 75% capped on the attack. You can't get capped on the uh, the the spell dodge, unfortunately because the intuitive leap I don't think reaches uh, I don't think it reaches the um, phase acro and then you're not going to spend the points for that so uh, that's why that's why I went for the uh, the pantheons um, so so this is like I think the best combo uh, mark of the shaper and then elder ring so you get more spell damage uh, and then this can be minus mana to help out with your winter's orb and then uh, cap your resist uh, elder also allows you to get things like the uh, damage to spells and attacks that's pretty awesome and but what I'm using is two big resist rings okay because I, I need resist badly because right here if you look at these two items no resist so uh, big resist item here minus mana minus mana it makes this free I'm actually minus two I'm like negative two so I could I could get like a, a negative seven if you can't afford this craft and that'd be fine for the um, for the uh, zero winch Lord. very important to get winch Lord to zero because uh, as you juice this is a juicing build so as you juice you cast faster and faster and we have like 2,000% uh, cast speed you're not gonna be able to sustain the mana even if the mana is like two or three so get it to zero you'll be able to do cannot regen and nothing else will uh, really uh, affect you right so it's really nice to be able to do more map mods especially uh, earlier on like in the first month or something right when you're getting the juicing started okay uh, so I already talked about this. This is only to um, get the cap on the temp chains on yourself. Talk about the rings. Talk about the impulsas. Uh, the helmet, the goal is good because uh, plus three max res, you get 37% uh, AoE, which is good. Uh, Winter Slip is actually better with ink AoE. Uh, I forgot to take out my conch effect in the setup, though. Uh, so, so get a goal. If you are poor and you can't get a, a jewel like this, okay, or next league it's not available, then what you do is you go 30%, uh, you go 30% uh, temp chain Helm. Where is that? Where is that? Yo, what is this? Oh, also, Scuzz, oh. Scuzz one has gifted sub to RKX Gaming. Thank you so much for that, man. Appreciate that gifted sub. Talzad, cheers, three dollar reduced. Thank you so much, Talzad. Big kiss, big kiss. Okay, so you will get a um, a goal that looks like where is it? Where is it? I can't find it. Hold on. Uh, you'll get a goal that has this enchant, thirty percent temp chains. Hey, Talzad, thanks for another three hundred bits. I appreciate that, man. Thank you for that three hundred bits. Big kiss, and uh, you'll get that on there, and then then, you, then you'll be totally fine. Okay, but Winter's Orb max stages. I actually tested this out in maps, and Winter's Orb, the increased duration at which the Winter's Orb fires for maximum stages is ridiculous because uh, it actually is a more multiplier. Uh, yo, Talzat, thank you for another 300 bits. And another, that, that's six, another $6 reduce. Thank you so much, man. Mwah, thank you for the $6 reduce. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, so get, I would say start with Winter's Orb plus two, and Winter's Orb plus two uh, enchant uh, is actually better the worse your gear is. It is much better the worse your gear is, um, but I, I, I personally um, swap between the two, and it's totally fine. Yo, another three, another three dollar dues from Tazet. Thank you so much, Tazet. Big kiss. Thank you for three dollar dues. Um, appreciate that. Thanks for the monies. Uh, okay, and then. Uh, if you're not going to do the gold, do this. Use a pristine and a frigid fossil, or a pristine and a scorched fossil if you're converting to fire, uh, and then craft yourself and a hollow fossil. Craft yourself a hollow fossil helmet that has life resist and minus nine uh, cold or fire uh, res. Okay, that's totally fine if you don't like clicking shrines. Yo, Tao's out with another six dollar reduce, 300, 300 bit reduce twice. Mwah. Thank you so much, man, for those bit reduce. I appreciate that. Thank you, Tao's dad, for, for the monies. All right, so we talked about the helmet. Let's talk about the biggest part of this build, which is it's not actually the belt. It's the staff, the, the, the discriminator. Now, this is an interesting staff because you could use this. You could use a weapon like this, a multi-modded, you know, arcane surge, gain is extra spell damage, uh, a one-hander, and another one that has, like, whatever else you want, right? Two of these is better initial damage, and it's very good for conversion and stuff like that. An another 300 bits. Yo, and he says, uh, hi, Jaggy, big fan. Yo, Tazza, thanks for 300 bit reduce. Big kiss, big kiss. Thank you for the $3 reduce. And the Disintegrator is because it adds physical damage to spells. It's an average of about 500 physical damage if you get a perfect one. Doesn't even need to be six linked. And if you look at Winter's Orb, it has 50% um, effectiveness. So that's 250 um, added physical. And the way that when you're juicing with your Inspire, with your Headhunter, the physical, if you kill one mob, you can get like 40% more damage on that physical at, at once from one monster. So it's very strong to add physical damage to spells these days. Yo, Tazza with another 300 bits. 
Thank you so much, man. It says, uh, Tai Tai, you're a handsome 13-year-old boy. No pedo. Hey, thank you so much for that donation. Questionable donation message, but thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. And so um, this staff is is so good once you get going, okay? Because uh, like you, you can't really get this. There's no added gem besides Herald of Purity, which is mana reservation, to add physical to spells. And that's only 40 damage, I think. So this is like 250 damage. And so um, it, it, makes your, it makes your Winter Dwarf scale uh, in a way that is, is that you can't scale in, in any other um, with any other like support gems or with any other item. So it's truly ridiculous, and you get extra chalice damage for every siphoning charge, whether it's an elder or a shaper item equipped. Right now, I only have two because uh, I was taking way too much damage when I tried six. So two I found is is perfect, and the extra physical damage is not that big because if you think about 32 top end, that's 50% effectiveness. That's only 16% uh, added to the warp, so not that important. Okay, although the physical damage reduction from hits is is kind of nice, but that. DJ is pretty strong if you're not going fast. Wait, what is this? Yo, Tazza with another um, 300 bitter dues says Pollock. Hi, YouTube. Yo, thank you for $3, man. And Jaggy TV also 300 uh, bitter dues. And he says, What a polite, gentle sir. Mwah. Thank you guys for the 300 uh, bitter dues each. Thanks for the monies. Appreciate it. Okay. So, this staff, try it out. You might like it. It's cheaper than, uh, than these for sure, right? Because these I nulled off the multi mod and exalted as well. So, yeah, try out the staff. It is um, damage scaling that is uh that is impo literally impossible to get anywhere else okay once you're juicing so the the staff makes it uh, a mostly physical into converted ellie uh winter sorb uh very strong and what else did i not talk about um gems i guess uh, we talked about this in here i just lightning drill and anime guardian set up for more juice uh in the winter sorb i have control destruction uh, gmp is is mandatory increased critical strikes if you're assassin you can take this out you can actually take this out if you're juicing anyways but i decided to leave it in for faster um, the first room or the first couple packs and then the infused channeling is mandatory I think and then conk effect is actually uh, bad I'm just testing it out right now but you should put an in ink AOE if you have the damage because the overlap of the winter sword is actually better with conk effect I tested it out with uh, with carcass jack and co and ink AOE and it feels a lot better to have a uh, ink AOE winter sword if you have the damages okay it is much better for clear and it'll feel better uh, in, in any in any open map yo Taza with another 300 bits thank you so much it says smash that button don't forget to subscribe click on that bell Hey, thank you, man, for 300 bits. Mwah, big kiss. Thank you, thank you. And so, uh, yeah, so swap this out for, for Ink AoE. Uh, I don't really like Hypothermia. Hypothermia kind of sucks. Uh, and Conk Effect, you guys also take out for something else. Uh, or, sorry, Control Destruction, you take out for something else if you want. In the helmet, I'm using Herald of Ass. When you get physical damage, especially Herald of Ass is good because it gives uh, a more multiplier to your physical damage. But it also, the overkill damage is, um, for example, if you hit a enemy for a million damage, which you will, and that, that, dam that monster is a white mob, that overkill damage is 25% of 1 million right base damage and then you, you scale that more burning damage right and naturally and you can even attach an extra support gem to this and that is a uh, you know 500,000 1 million burn on the low end that will apply to everything around that white monster it's, it's truly insane Herald of Ice is so bad like Herald of Ice these days with the current is, is a relic of the past okay it's it's from a, it's from an era where uh, where like everyone was using it so then everyone else used it and it was kind of good clear but now with the scaling and with the inspired and with all the juicing we can do Herald of Ice sucks, okay? Um, so use Herald of Ass, and it's actually better for emblems too, because it actually works in, in emblems, and it works in 90% avoidance maps, which you'll get a lot in red maps. And the uh, Hatred, no, no explanation there, more cold damage. If you have any kind of fizz, you have, you know, you gain extra, crazy. Uh, and then the Enlightened and then the Lightning Joel here. Okay, so uh, I Rampage, what I do is because the Winter's Orb is in the chest, uh, when you swap weapons, your Winter's Orb stacks does not go away. If your Winter's Orb is in the weapon, your stacks will go away when you weapon swap. So you cast it up, you have the full stack, you swap, you kill one monster, you swap back. The bad part about this is when I swap back, I need to cast this and then this. So it's two button presses for your minions when you swap back, okay? Yo, Tazza, thanks for another 300 bits. This is not done yet. Mwah, thank you for 300 bits. Okay, so that's that's basically the, the item setup. You can play around with this with whatever you want. If you're not juicing, it's much easier to, to play around with the Mark of the Shaper stuff especially, okay? Now, let's talk about the skill tree. Skill tree is a full juice of skill tree. There's an Inspire Learning right here, an Inspire Learning right here. Inspire, uh, well, yeah, there's Inspire Learning right here. And then, of course, you're going to use the Headhunter to scale your physical physical damage that's the whole point of the uh disintegrator if you don't have a headhunter um stopping poor and buy one okay uh, ease, uh forehead okay so then uh, farm glaciers for two days okay so um 
You have the three inspireds. I have one skill uh, duration wheel, which is uh, very good. And then wh when you get some high levels, you have some freedom, right? You can even you, you can you can drop this crit if you want. That's four points. But basically, this is the general tree. Play around with this as you as you want. If you don't take this inspire, you don't take this. You save like twelve points, uh, and you can put that anywhere else. You can go natural and natural instinct right here. You can like cross here and save this. You don't really need this. And uh, that, that's I would say take this though. Lucidity is very good for the minus mana cost. And as you can see, I have three k life, but very tanky build have not died uh, haven't haven't died on this build yet actually this, this doesn't die it's hardcore viable okay and that's that's pretty much the build all right yeah that's, that's pretty much the build. Uh, live every day uh yo Taza, thanks for 300 bits again thank you so much man appreciate the monies uh, i'm live every day on twitch uh, twitch.tv slash q underscore you can ask me questions there winter storm is still very viable you know if you're juicing it looks really cool with the uh the projectile stacks with the with the splitting and uh okay you guys okay bye everyone thank you for watching bye thank you everyone okay bye